Hello everybody! This is my June favorites video. I did not make a May favorites because I don't think I really had any May favorites. It's kind of that month when you're switching over from that kind of like springy, fall, still kind of cold, rainy, gross, and now I'm just drenched in humidity and it feels so bad. So now I'm going to do my June video. Um, just a few things that I've really been liking um, in the last month. I did a lot of shopping this month so lots of stuff to go over. So here we go. I'm going to start off with makeup. Um, one of my favorites right now is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 um, with the SPF. It says it has a primer, a concealer, a really good foundation. I still use everything. I still use a primer before. I still have concealer, but it has really good coverage, and it still feels light, even though it's supposed to be a full coverage kind of foundation. The only thing is, I don't know if I'd use it during the summertime, because it's really hot out, and I'm not sure how it does with sweat and being all gross, and it melts off my face. So if you know, if it's a yay or nay, you let me know. Yeah. So next is I have a highlighter. It's the Dream Lumi um, Maybelline New York Camouflage. Um, I really like this for under the eye. It's a really good applicator. It's a twist. And I just put it right under the eyelids. Eyelids. I just put it right under the eye, covering my bags. And then maybe around my nose if I have any redness. And a highlight down my T-zone, blend that all in with a beauty blender, and you're good to go. Another favorite of mine is the Annabelle Brow Pencil. I like these, like, spinny ones, because they're always going to be skinny, and I really like that. I used to use a pencil before, and you have to sharpen it, it smudges, it's messy, it's too thick, but this, I'm using it right now, you just gotta blum, 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 and you're good to go. So I really like that. It's really easy to clean. You just gotta take your finger and like shape it a bit if it has any like dirt. This compared to the Sephora one, it's really the same. I find the Sephora one is obviously more expensive. This was like five bucks at Walmart. So I do like this. This is the darkest I could find and I feel that it's not dark enough but if you blend it with a brush it works well too. So next thing I have, it's not new, it's pretty old. It's like a year old for me I think. It's my cargo um, bronze eyeshadow palette. So what I like about this, it's really nice and neutral. I can do my smoky eye, I can do a basic eye, I can do a highlight eye. There's no color names for it, but you have this really sh white cream, off-white shimmer. Kind of like a bronzy uh, brown. This one I've used a lot, you can already see the pan. But it's kind of like that mocha coffee light brown, really great for your crease. And of course, a dark for the smoky eye, and I've been using this a lot this summer. It's I've realized that it has a darker tone to it, so I really like that. You can get this at... Where can you get this from? You can get it from Ecotique, you can get it from Sears, The Bay, any department store that sells cargo. Moving on, I have a fragrance. This fragrance is beautiful. It's by Philosophy. It's called Amazing Grace. This is the small tester version. Not tester, but it came in a little pack, so it's much smaller than what it is. It's really like, it's just that big. Nothing great, but it smells so good. It smells like, um, it smells like Chloe, like a little bit more flowery, which I'm not really into flowers, but it smells really good. The Philosophy brand is amazing, which is on its own, so you can definitely find something there. That's a small one. I do in the future want to buy the big one. Next I have two nail polishes. Um, really great for the summertime. I need an orange though. I need that tangerine kind of orange color. But right now I got my pinks going on. Like my nails. Woo! This I don't really have it. I went to the parlor today and got my nails did. But the ones that I do like is this new one I got. It's Essie and it's called Plumberry. It's not going to focus but it's called Plumberry. It's kind of like that plumberry kind of color. A little bit red, a little bit purple. And then I have, this one's from last year. It's a I Got a Blush on You from Sephora OPI. And it's that like 
really really light pale pink color that's amazing if you do like two coats or more it's a really nice pink and it matches everything so the next favorite that I have is proven to do all that it's supposed to do it is a shampoo I got the shampoo and conditioner but I'm just gonna show you the shampoo because they're really big bottles and it is meant to make your hair grow 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 so my hair has grown quite a bit oh where's the end and it was here so it's grown quite a bit if I just do it in the center here you can see if you looked at my previous video it's like probably like here ish and now it's that's pretty long so I'm really happy with this product and it is called Boom! mane and tail now you've probably seen this in like Seventeen Magazine. Yes, I still read Seventeen Magazine. Seventeen Magazine. I got this in the Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, this is the big version. You can get the smaller version that's probably like up to here at Walmart for almost the same price. But Sally's Beauty Supply, you can get the jumbo wholesale size for like eight dollars. So that is awesome. I really like it. Doesn't smell bad. Yes, you can use it for animals. It's funny because they go, if you can see direction for human use direction for animal use so that's kind of hilarious yes if you want your hair to grow use this buy this get mane and tail to make your hair grow finest yeah i know okay next i have accessories i have been trying and trying and trying to get myself to wear more accessories but now that it's getting a little bit too hot, I don't want to wear it. So June was a really good time because we've just started getting into the sweaty, gross weather. But the accessories that I have been loving are backs. Any types of spikes. I have gunmetal, silver, gold, black. And I mix them all up. I have a few like just diamonds and sparkles. I have this pearl one with spikes on it and I just mix them up with different combinations and depending how I feel and I've been really liking this. Now this is the, I still have the tag on it, this is from Guess. This is their version of a spike bracelet. It's really like tight and the spikes are really big compared to the ones from Aldo. They're shorter and smaller but the thing is like this one's like 12 bucks for two and this one was $25 so I don't know all the accessories or guess $12 $25 well I should just put two two one you tell me but I got them both anyways. Moving on to some clothes this last month actually I've been buying a humongous amount of tops no pants no skirts no shorts I haven't bought shorts I haven't even bought a bathing suit yet but I've been getting a big amount of tops and shirts and so now I've told myself this is it no more no more tops that's it so that being said I'm gonna show you what I got now everything here is from Zara except for one shirt it's from Costa Blanca um, I will show you the Costa Blanca one so this one's Costa Blanca just basic white t-shirt. You can never get enough of basic white t-shirts, so always get basic white t-shirts. This was $15, I think. Casa Blanca isn't the best for its quality, but I really like it because it's super soft and you can really just wear it with anything. Next, I have a tank from Zara, my favorite store in the world. And what's cool about this is that it goes long in the front and back, and then it's like short on the side so if you were like super skinny that would look really cool on me it kind of looks funny but I still wear it anyways but I like this because it's just thin basic low neck okay. next one I have is more dressy kind of same idea as the other one it's a really tight neck on the top and it's lined with the leather around the neck and the arms the arms are pretty wide as well it's a really nice top it has a zipper on the back again and then it kind of just like falls down on the bottom. But it's really great if you just like go like this with a bun and maybe like a statement necklace and some high waist pants or shorts. And another t-shirt from Zara and it's in this nice blue. 
I don't know about this blue. I really like the color. It may not be in for the spring and summertime, but it's a really nice blue. The one thing with this shirt is that I love it, but it's stretched so much. It's like twice the size of me. But I still like it because I like big shirts, so yeah. Now the last shirt I have is really cool. I just wore it yesterday. It's awesome. This is a basic white large t-shirt, but the print on it, or the image, is cool. Look at my lips, baby. Look at my lips. I like this. What I really like about it is that the lips, there's a gap. So it's like imperfect, which is awesome. And it just says just a secret and yeah basic big it's like a size medium and it was only ten dollars at Zara so why not get it alrighty yo so that is the end of my June favorites video um, I haven't been doing a lot of videos but I will be even though it's super hot and super dying outside and I feel I'm gonna faint but I will be giving you more videos and more stuff please check me out on Instagram tumblr everything everything will be posted down below and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe alright bye guys so it was kind of that month where you're, huh, I don't know the word. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's called, yeah. And click now to watch my spring lookbook featuring Frankie. Thanks, guys.